Hi, welcome back to my workshop. Um, it's just a little tool review this one is. It's, it's not much. What it is, it's a dowel making jig. I saw it on Amazon about oh, two or three weeks ago and it was uh, priced 10, 10, 10 50 I've just looked again, they've gone up to 10.99 now. So uh, with my birthday coming up, I got a bit of money anyway, so I thought I'll have a go, see what it's like. I know you can make them uh, with a hole, then a couple of saw blades each side of it, things like that. And uh, but I thought I'd give it a go because it's all it's all compact into one. So um, and then I've got some wood cut ready to try it out in um, different. Uh, Thicknesses. I've got some hard wood and uh, some soft wood and things, so we'll give it a go and see how it turns out. Right, that's the project. Pro project, product. Um, it's an aluminium block, cast aluminium. What it is? It's about eighty-five B eighty. And it is about 25 thick. Um, what it is, it's a series of holes from from 20 mil the largest down to 8 mil. And it's got a carbide cutter on it, which is just there. It's got four sides, so when one side gets blunt, it's uh, easy enough just to switch it around. So all it is, is to loosen that, take this one out, that then swivels round to whichever size you want, as you can see, and the where I've took the little bolt out, there's holes that come straight through. So say you wanted it on the 13, it lines up with the hole, tighten it back down, tighten the middle one and then the cutter's on the 13. So like I say, it, you've got 20, uh, 15, 13, oh the 16, 12, 10, 9 and 8 all together on it. So. What I've done, I've just cut some piece of random wood up I've got. Um, that's just a piece of uh, soft wood. That's off a chair leg, so that's a bit of hard wood. I don't know what, that's off a pallet, I think. That sounds like hard wood. That's off of a bit of a tabletop. And that one's already a dowel anyway. It just come off um, the side of a cot. So, but I'm going to see how it cuts that as well. So, all I've done is mounted it to a block of wood. It's just three screws. Put a lip on it so it goes into my vise. And then all you have to do is put that into your drill or whatever. Turn it on full speed and go through the holes. So, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it uh, see how they turn out. And uh, yeah, right. I put the piece of dowel in my drill first. Um, we're going to try that with. I, it might just chew it up. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It might be more better on the the hardwoods more than the the soft ones. But we'll we'll give it a go. Um, it's on the 16 mil hole at the minute, so we'll see how it goes. So all we have to do is put it on full and go through. Yeah, it's taking it's taking some of the chunks out of it. So, what will it go on to next? What are we on 16? We'll try it on to the 15 one and see how it goes. Take that out, loosen that, and spin it round to the 15 one. Loosen it a bit more. That's it. Still do it. Yeah, look, it's, it's just taking all the chunks out of that, so 
it's failed on that it has so that's a failure on that one right what we're going to try next we'll try another piece of softwood we'll try on the 16 mil we'll let it go on the 15 no uh, we'll try it on the 16 see how it goes on that and we'll see how this goes this might be the same I suppose this is a bit of a pain just keep turning it round but uh, like I say if it works it's just a nice little jig easy to store because it's uh, small so I saw it I thought I'll give it a go Yeah, you see, it's it's doing exactly the same as what it did to that one. So that one's a failure. Right, we'll try the more harder woods now, and uh, we'll see how it goes on them. Right, I've done the hard wood ones a bit different. I thought we'd give it, we'll put a screw in the end, just chop the head off, and we'll try it. See how it goes that way. Because. Because doing it by the file, I don't think they're not sitting right in the chuck itself, so that might be some of the problems with this. So we'll try it this way and we'll see how we go. I've got this on the 18mm mark, so we'll give this one a go. Right. We will go down to. 16 now mark we'll go down to the 15 this one it seems to be working a bit better now doing it that way Seems to be that first bit. If you don't get it dead centre, it's not. Uh... I'll try it again. Right. I'll try again. Oh. No. It's just that first little bit. Perhaps they're too long. Perhaps that's the problem. If they're shorter, I don't. Th I don't think it'd be much good for if you wanted a long piece of dowel. I don't think that it it, it wouldn't do it. If you just want short pieces for joining pieces of wood together, then yes, I think it'd be all right. I think because because once you get past the first stage that bit is all right once you've sanded that down that would be all right for uh, using as a, a dowel to join wood so we'll, we'll we'll just give we'll just give this one a go see how this one is See, being as that's a bit shorter, it's not wobbling around. So I think because these were long, that's why it it's what's it had done that at the end. It's gone in. So 
Right, tighten him up. These Allen keys, these are from uh, Aldi. They are. There's a set of. Wait a minute. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. And they've got them in Aldi at the minute. They have. So the set eight them. They're pretty good. So right, we'll give it a go on this one. Now you see, that's shorter, and being as it's hard, wood, it's doing that one pretty good. So we've done the 18, we'll go down to the 16 now. What I'd do as well, I'd, always, I'd clean the blade up every time I'd used it as well. So um, it don't get a build up of uh, resin or whatever on it. So right, we're on the 16 now. that is coming out perfect it is so we'll go down to the 15 oh, take right out I think this is the most what's it bit where you have to keep taking that right out but uh, that is about completely round so that one has worked uh, pretty well so just a light sanding and that would be ideal for joints so yes all in all it's uh, it's not bad it, like I say um, perhaps these were a bit too long and perhaps I should have done it with screws for these ones for their um, softwoods, hardwoods, once you got too lot, like say, that one's a shorter, so that one, it's done it just right. It has. Sand that down, like say, that would be ideal, it would. So, softwoods, it's not really um, very good, unless they're short unless they're short and it might do it but uh, hardwoods as long as they're not too long it'll it'll be just right right that's a look at the um, the dowel making jig um, it's all right on some materials but not on others so and I'd definitely go with a screw in the end so it Maze it nice and round, then just sand it off. Uh, especially if you use harder wood, it's more a lot more better than the soft woods, which it would be anyway. So um, that's the cutting head. You can see the carbide blade, four sided. So all it is is undo the little nut there, swizz it round, turn it back up. That's what the housing's like, what it fits into. So, yeah, um, am I pleased I've got it? Yeah, reasonably pleased, yeah. I know, like I say, I could have made some, uh, one out of uh, some saw blades and holes and did it that way, or there's quite a few ways you look, you look on YouTube how to do them, but I saw it for just 10 50 I thought, I'll give it a go, why not? So, yeah, well, yeah, overall, I'm pleased with it. So, it'll help me out if I want any quick dowels and I haven't got the size I need so that's what it was for so thanks for watching uh, please subscribe hit that like button hit the notification bell for more videos coming up and I shall see you all on the next video bye for now